Welcome back to another episode of Otaku Outsiders. It is me, the Grand Booba, D-Dog Souza. I don't need to make a long intro because this is part two to the Power Set System episode. No intro is needed for the remainder of this. Just sit back, relax, enjoy, stay safe, and we're starting in five, four. Juju, you have the floor. Oh my god! Okay, so... Go, Loki! Ah, you know how it is. Okay, so first and foremost, I have uh, my uh, ooh, ooh, words, 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 English, English, not Spanish. Okay, <laughs> I have Black Clover, I have Bleach, I have My Hero Academia, and an oldie but goodie, I have Satch Bell. <laughs> so, for those of you, can, who, can who, I ask for you to start with Satch Bell because I, I've never heard of it. Me neither. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so basically, before I even, like, open, one thing that I, you know, as I was doing research and everything else, was, like, in a sense, the power structure for all four of the of the animes that I've chosen are very much uh, self-growth-based. Like, you unlock more powers as you get stronger, and, like, yeah, that should be the same with all the animes, but like in here, they have like difference. For example, Satch Bell has a lot more in common with Black Clover, Bleach, believe it or not, than we like lead on to Blaze. So Satch Bell is basically this anime about uh, essentially what would be a battle royale. Uh, so you have a human partner and you have a Mamoto which a Mamoto in all sense of words is basically a uh, spirit and or demon in this case uh, that has a distinctive type of form. Main character, Kyo and Satch. Uh, Satch looks like a little boy and he's like a blonde little kid with like the only distinctive feature, uh, features that make him look otherworldly two straight lines from down his eyes to his jaw, and it makes him look like a doll. Uh, the one thing is here that the Mamotos came into the world to find a human partner that can read their books. And here's the thing. The books carry their magic, and they are to be locked in battle. And the one thing here in this battle royale thing uh, that we're going to have to you know, get into consideration is you win the Mamoto War. So, um, essentially over My Hero and then Bleach all have very similar uh, concepts and it's basically like their powers grow with the persons and the casters and the youth to how they like, how they learn how to develop their own abilities. Uh, Statsville, like the TLDR of it all is like there's this war happening to like try to like debate who's gonna become like the new king of the Mamoto world. And then they send these specific Mamotos, which is basically um, these gaggle of spirits that they send over to the world with their own grimoires. Uh, and the grimoires will essentially help them get their magic but there's a catch. They can only use their magic when recited by uh, when recited by a uh, human. The spirit so, or by themselves? No, they have the the spirits can't use their magic unless a human cast and there are Oh, so it's kind of like um, Shaman King a little bit. Essentially, essentially. And it also came out somewhere around that time with Shaman King. But the thing is, so essentially in Satch Bell, the humans need to cast a spell in by using the book as a medium because if they don't use the book, they can't use the spell. And the Mamoto will then use the magic that is casted. Some Mamotos actually don't want to be part of the war and they're very uh, peaceful as with Tia and Megumi. And they're, like, one of the characters is like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry for her because she was dragged into it. Um, and the thing is, like, Satch Bell's dad is the one who orchestrated the whole thing. He just grabbed 100 Mamotos, yeeted them out into the world, and be like, I right, here, have fun. And it's like, 
dude, some of these Momotos actually suffered a lot of physical injuries. But the one way that you get a lot of spells is by not only battling, but also by like becoming more in sync with your human partner. So Satch actually learned a couple of spells. Like I get like I'm here like, you know, going over through like my notes and he gains a lot of spells that did not make manga but did make I mean did not make it through the anime but did make it through the manga. And most of them, you know, you have strength spells, lightning spells. Then, you know, a couple of like lightning claws, dragons, magnetism, because that's mostly what the the thing is. He's essentially uh, a Momoto. And the one thing that made it so special, I guess, for like the anime and everything else is like the journey that he takes with the human partner and like becoming a benevolent king. Because at one point or another, there's like Momotos that are just out there. So the, as soon as they make it into the Momoto world, they're going to destroy everything. But saying that Stats does not have a body count because he do. He did uh, burn out a couple of books because the one way that you win the Momoto war is by burning an- another's Momoto's grimoire and basically vanishing them back into their world as a loser. So he actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, something like 25 Mamotos he took out and it was like damn like he got skills so <laughs> yeah he got skills he got all the stuff and like his biggest spell would be like the main dragon spell that he makes uh, oh my god I'm trying to look for it I have it here uh, oh Bao Sak- Sakeruga basically just the biggest lightning dragon think uh, Naruto Sasuke's Kirin it's basically that, but yellow. <laughs> to burn books, and then it sends them back to the Momo- Momoto world. As a yeah, leader. basically. So it sends them back to the dimension, and they they basically just like <laughs> I'm about to do something that's gonna like make all the twenty <laughs> the the twenty tens thousand kids be mad as hell. They basically lose the game. <laughs> wow. Wow. How okay. dare you? Okay. The audacity of this bitch. Wow. How, wow. Like wow! I just okay. got targeted so hard. It, it was super effective. That that was super effective damage right there. Four times weakness. It's like quiver dance boosted hyper boys. Okay, like straight to the heart. Um. Anyways, but basically they lose magician. the competition. <laughs> My dark magician. Where, My dark where magician. Where where are you? <laughs> I, I, I... <laughs> I'm going to the timeout quarter. <laughs> Basically, um, you know, the gist of Satch Bell is that burn another Mamoto's book, send them back into the dimension, last Mamoto standing king of their dimension. And, you know, Satch is just, you know, lightning powers kid, goes throughout the journey, and as he learns more about why he's fighting and how to become a better king, and trusting his human counterpart, and then his human counterpart, in fact, trusting him, actually throwing down with other Mamotos. Like, there's a big episode, I guess, that he just swings at another Mamoto's face, and it's like, oh, damn. And, you know, as their bond grows, so does Sacha's power. And, you know, more spells are added inside the Grimoire. Did, which did takes... you just say bond grows? Like, yeah, like they become like, bros. Like, like, like the power of friendship? Yeah. yeah it... Aren't most animes like the power of friendship with the exception of like the more darker ones? <laughs> Q Attack on Titan fandom rushing in. Oh, How no, dare no. you say oh, that, God, no. that leave them there. That is societal, no societal. The, leave them the behind power, the walls. The ideology of power of friendship is just not something we want to dive into on this episode. We don't have to save that for later. We is not. Okay, so moving on. Uh, from the Tatch Bell, we got the Black Clover. So it's another basis of grimoire and magic and all that other stuff. However, here is where you start seeing that it's more personal. Like, this is every person's magic. And even if they're, like, very similar in a way, because you can have multiple fire magic users, but their magic is not going to be the same. Like, even in the family, like, 
sure, you have Metal Leonas and like Pogolions and the kids. Oh my god, I forgot his the kid's brother name. Uh, but you know, just to just to use them as an example, sure they have fire magic, but they don't use it in the same way. Metal Leona is a straight up brawler. Fuegolion is a uh, specialist. Then the little kid is more like a burst blaster and sniper, and he turned out into like a huge bouts of explosion, and he can so use them. So, a so what you're player. telling me is that the close range user is the older sister, which um. I, I don't want her to train me by any means. Like she, she gonna be like one of those. Like she's like, oh, you want to train? Yeet me in front of a monster. Just like, yeah. uh, that's not the training mm-hmm. I wanted. But I yeah. would let her train me anytime. Like, babe, that fire lion claw and yeet me at the enemy. Let me die <laughs> for you, mommy. Just like, oh, Medellina sama. Ah! <laughs> well. Well, never mind. Never mind. I, I no. Never mind. I, this made a call for callback. I yeah. Too much. I made one callback to that episode, and it comes back strong. How much power do I hold? <laughs> so. Listen. No. It, uh, you have things like that. You have also creation magic. You have healing magic. You have, uh, with Asta, even, he has anti-magic. So even that in itself is uh, uh, using of the magic energies in a way. But you also have, there's a, there's a, oh my God, there's a, there's an example about compound magic, which is basically a form of magic where you give shape. And ultimately by giving shape to your own elemental force or whatever it is, you can essentially just create even more diverse things. My favorite magics from Black Clover include Dream Magic, use Peacock's uh, Captain, and then the Purple's, or- the Purple's Orca uh, have a very unique type of magic. The two leaders, one of them has invisibility magic, where he just basically disappears, and then the other one has momentum magic or reversion magic, where he can reverse any type of momentum of anything that is shot at him and it's both very unique in the way like even on the first episode you have a person that uses creation magic to create steel chains and then he adds into the effects of it all and like not to say like no but like you gotta admit black clover kind of became one of the newer like you know he's up there with like mha and Boruto, I guess, because uh-huh. uh, the disrespect. What? What? Boruto is trash. I know, but he's like considered a big tree of this young yeah, generation. No, I, I know, I, I get it. That uh, you, you touched upon a, a point that I want to talk a little bit more over. So, I'm um, facts, boo boo. <laughs> she went into the Wikipedia. She did her, she did her fast checking. But you cannot tell me she had no. But seriously, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was uh like um so Noel uh Noel's family, their mm-hmm. royals. And one thing uh that you didn't say that that I'm gonna talk that I'm gonna say is the lower your status, or unless you said it and I didn't pay attention. The lower your status, the lower mana you have. But yeah. everyone in this world has magic except for Asta. That's so, like, bullshit. I would like to just call that out right now. That's bullshit. That's that's how the royals see it because the royals have such this huge okay. reserve of magic, and they're more loved by mana. But that's because of some BS that w- happened way before the story takes place. Yeah, but I'm like, gonna, hey, disrespect my man Yami again. We, we, I'm gonna have to take that ass off him. I'm still gonna have to run the hands. Like, Yami, a, Yami a, is Asuma points. from Naruto. He got isekai into Black Clover. <laughs> okay, but, like, here's another thing, though. And this is something I'm going to say. Like, sure, you brought up that uh, the topic with, like, royals and all that stuff. But, like, the point is, everybody in the Black Bull is not a royal except for Noel. Like, everybody in the Black Bull can and will throw hands, and their magic no. is... Uh uh-uh. uh, you're forgetting two people that are ex royals. Who are they? Ah, the teleporting guy, Noel, and the witch. Not the witch, the yeah, the lightning kid. Uh, royal as well, but we're not going to talk about that. 
My my girl, uh, what's her name? It starts with that. Gray? No. no. Oh, which, which, which girl? Yes. She's technically Vanessa. A too. Yes, Vanessa. The, is the name, too. the name, the name of screams brujaria. I don't know no Brazilian that goes to church that names her child Vanessa. We are, we are not getting into that. No, no, we're we're not. It's just an example. And if I keep on saying that word, my grandmas are gonna pound my door. Why are you talking about brujaria? <laughs> okay, like listen, listen. Okay, so Finro. Vanessa and Luck, but at the same time, Luck never raised a royal. Luck was never a royal, if we're talking about him. Because if anything, you're also thinking about Henry. You're also thinking about Secret, but then again, the whole point of Secret was that she was a peasant. And the first uh, Magic King, by the way, I'm spoiling. Are, is, is this allowed to be spoiled? Like, am I allowed to go off? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm, but, I'm 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 at the end of of the anime right now, so we'll we'll do like a highlight episode. So spoiler I, warning for Black Clover stuff besides I, I, some characters. Bad, but this this also happens like at the end of the like the first big arc where we see Secret, which is basically like the black bird that's always around Asta. Like the whole point about her, who has a very unique style of magic. With a lot of development, she can go toe to toe with a devil, because she can just lock that stuff away, seal it away. Bye, go, go, have fun. It's like, oh, okay. Then you have like, you know, if we're spitting the facts, like not all the royals get all the whack. And listen, Noel's is Noel, and her bigger brother, them the goats in that house. The other two are bitches. The other two facts. Are bitches. The other Correct. two, like, I will beat their ass. Like. Mm. Notice, I'll see them motherfuckers, and it's like it's, it's going down. Like I will throw hands because they have nothing. But at the end of the day, several arcs to get where she's at, and that makes her like you know, mwah, chef kiss. Because you know what, that it shows this growth. But the- but <laughs> but you do know why though, right? Because she because she trained a lot. Well, it's that hurt. too, but it's no, it's so she's a spitting image of her mother, mm-hmm. and the older brother, which is a captain, said, "I want you to be nowhere near the action because I don't want to lose my little sister." That looks exactly like our mother, yeah. so that's why he sent her to the Black Bulls. However, because he was like, "Oh, the, these these people they just like slouch and slack off; they don't do anything," and then mm-hmm. come to find out, no. Um, like, you know, they actually do stuff and Asa is like the goat and you should recognize them as such. Um, but the point that I wanted to get to is that there are two different types. Well, besides the royalty bullshit thing, uh, you have those that are more loved by the mana and ones that are not. So when you go to like other kingdoms, they have more like natural occurring things in nature, like fire, earth, air, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Or like diamonds and whatnot. However, in the Clover Kingdom, it's uh, it's either A, the only, or like uh, one of the two that don't really have that. Because if you look at all the captains, most of them don't have normal, typical magic. World Tree magic, the dark magic, the time magic by the Wizard King, which they had to nerf my boy because he could have... He could have oh, solved all their we, problems. Can we talk about that fight? That fight was so good. Again, I felt like he was hoed, but that that's me. A little bit. But, like, also, it's like the good sense is that, you know, sure, the other kingdoms have more natural curing magic. All right. But then in the Black, in the, in the Clover Kingdom, you have, like, a lot more expressive magic, too. Oh, yeah. So that's, that's also, like, a point. Take Henry, for example, in the, inside of Black Clover. Hey, guys, it's Josh, the creator of Oh Talk About Siders. I just wanted to slip in a quick ad right here. Um, Talking about Anchor, uh, it's what we use to make the podcast. It's what I use for the editing. And also, (laughs) I find it pretty interesting and pretty awesome. First of all, it's free, which is great. All the tools you need are right inside of the app, right inside of the site. You can't go wrong with it. Um, Anchor does distribute all the stuff immediately to several other podcast uh, places. But it first goes to Spotify. 
Uh, you can make money from podcasts. You don't need a minimum listenership. Um, and it's everything you need all in one place. There's nothing too big or too small. So just go and download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. His magic is reconstruction magic. He just moves around the house every so which way, but he sucks up a lot of money to the point where his parents just abandoned him. You know? Yeah, that, that's why uh, he's no matter where they go, he's always in part of the house just to the side so that way those around him which would be those outside the room or the box or whatever mm-hmm. don't mm-hmm. get affected by his magic mm-hmm. just like charmy oh. charmy is a hybrid Char- Char- oh my god she's so fun to me i love her character so much both in mini charmy mode and then wolf charmy mode like listen the wolf the wolf in sheep clothing that's her whole theme for their magic and it is the most cleverest way to use that concept scene. Because we never expected this. We only thought that, oh, yeah, I guess she's hungry. You play with her food. Ha, 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 ha. But then come that whole elf. Like, nah, nah, boo. She, she can wing. I love, love, love her. Also, the one other royal within the Black Clovers, uh, is it's not luck, my bad. I said luck, but it's not luck, it's gouch. It's the one with the mirror eye. Yeah. yeah. I, I forgot about that. I'm so sorry. Freaking like, I, dude, dude's hella weird, and, and, and I'm not a fan of him. It's like, look at my sister Marie. I literally saw an oh. anime the other day where like a character was doing that same thing. I was like, oh, that's where he got it from because that anime was a little bit older. Oh, I was like, oh, that's... Don't watch San Korea then. Bleach. Soul Reapers. We fight uh, evil spirits. Think about it being uh, as an exorcist. You got that, and you got basically most of the story already. But the the best part, or like rather the part that we come to Bleach for, would be the Bankai. Like, es- hold on, hold on, hold on. Be- before I continue, uh, can everyone give me their like best Bankai right now? Oh my god! Oh my god! Go ahead. Hmm. On three. Uh no 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 uh individually uh Juju first shout out myself and then uh Sage. <laughs> oh my god oh my god okay right, right, right. Bunkai. All right okay. Oh am I am I next? Yes you you can come out of your corner for a brief moment. Oh for a second, dang I thought I could almost see the light. Bonkai. Eh. <laughs> like, like Ju- Juju came in. He was like, "Bonkai," and I was like, "Oh shit! All right, cool. That's a little energetic. All right, seven out of ten. Because I-, I don't know how it's gonna go." And you're like, "Bonkai." I'm like, "That's that's weak. There no black Air Force energy. No, like you know, run the fade kind of energy. None of that shit." We go hard in this house. <laughs> Basically. All right, here's mine. Bandai! Oh, come on now. Come, come, come on now. This, oh, come this is how it's done. You, you right. get me for you, that? You, you need to remember, my, my grandmother's like just down the hall from me, and I've been shouting oh, for like the well, past hour. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But you see, everybody's just trying to do Ichigo. There are more Bankais and more Zonpo's out here, all right? So let me give you the true, the the... The good looking one that still does a whole lot amount of damage. Bon oh. Kai. Simbon Sakura. Final Ow. Master 13. Kagayoshi. All right, mister. I took Japan in high school. Freaking show off. Uh, <laughs> he, just said, he just said, give me your best Bankai. He didn't say, like, give me a specific Bankai, my God. Yeah, I mean, that's why it's just like, man, I don't want to be yelling either. For, for show off reasons, he, he wins. Because he, he spoke no, Japanese. No, I, I ain't speak Japanese. I took Chinese. I took Mandarin. Oh, so I, you would I, love I, Daily Life of an Immortal King. Because it, it isn't Mandarin. Mandarin oranges? Awesome. Going back to my corner. <laughs> oh, my God. You ever just laugh like a horse? Unless you're Juju, I want you to quiet. The <laughs> shadow, I need you to go back in your corner. I did. I said that. And then I said, all right, cool. Back to my corner. Like, never mind. So, anyway, so I like basically with Bleach and the Bankai's, is each Bankai has like a different type. 
the melee ones, you have the projectiles one, the fence, keto, um, fire, water, wind. There's oddly enough only one that has to do with like plants. Huh. Okay, I guess. And you know, everybody else has like a different type of bankai. Uh mostly the fun part, at least for me, and since that I liked it a lot, is that every bankai is vastly different from one or the other. It also has a lot to do with like the power behind the person fested and the different forms that it can take. Obviously we all know Senbo Sakura. We also know Sangetsu. Uh, we have oh my god the different captains Bankai which were like pivotal for like the first arc in like the Shonen and the Soul Society arc. We also have the for like oh my god the weird captain this will never like read my mind because i remember reading it in, in like a shonen jump manga like J Walmart. just start describing it we're, we're so used to that because of me just start describing who it is you think that you're talking about and we'll try yeah, and be yeah, like yeah okay, no no we, we we know exactly who it is yeah, yeah basically it's it's uh mad scientist yeah oh the scientist. the weird dude with the baby yeah, yeah, the baby Bankai. Are you kidding me? That thing is fucked up. I saw it. I was like, oh my, what the hell? I, I, I literally thought that, like, I was getting the mecha uh, anime. Like, uh, I think it's Gundam. I was like, uh -huh. why is there a big-ass baby in the middle of the road? It's like, oh, this thing can do this and do that. I'm like, why, sir, why is everything look remotely human, but you just look like you dipped in whatever the hell the Joker was swimming in? <laughs> right. And like, I was also like very confused. It's like, what the heck is that? But then he starts describing about, oh, it, it can do this. That it's emitting. It's also uh, poisonous. Uh, poisonous. And like, you're dying and all this stuff. But like, listen, how he killed the for to me, iconic. He's basically stabbed it. And as he stabbed him, he's going along his monologue like, oh, and you're basically dying and you're already dead but by the time that you finally realize it'll be too late because he basically slowed down the perception it's like that is i i am this single person's bankai but then you also have bankai's like sabimaru which is very cut and dry like listen i am a beast and i like bankai and like my sword is essentially the snake at the end of my monkey's tail and like it is love but then you also have uh things such as like the new hit captain's bankai uh chunsui kyoraku i guess that's his name i call that one uh yeah it's Chun chunsui wait, which is wait. Wait, you said the new head captain? What happened to my old man? I'm sorry, but I ain't get that far in Bleach. Unless... Spoilers! Oh, oh, oh my Did... god! Okay, you, so you, you, you forget, but it's okay. It's your first time. So whenever we say something that might, could possibly be spoilers, especially if it's like really new stuff, then yeah, definitely uh, should be saying spoiler warning prior. But you're, so you're sorry good. Sorry about that. Uh, basically... Uh, let's just say that he became the successor and he became the successor for the captain of, and he named them. So his Bankai about everything is essentially a game. The first, the first Bankai is like, do you want to play a game from Saw? He, as he goes along he makes rules for it because essentially he's playing with the spirit of the Bankai. Like, oh, I can only hit you if you're wearing white. And like, if your opponent happens to be wearing something white, like, guess what? His sword will go through. But if his, they're not wearing something that is white, the sword will basically just pass through them as is nothing. But then his release, his whole Bankai release is essentially uh, a play. And it's beautiful because it goes through three acts, and his bankai is Kanten Kyokotsu, uh, which is basically heavenly blooming with withering pine I love like of suicide. It. Yes, listen, like it is it. amazing. It goes through acts. It goes act the first, hesitant, 
wounds. Any wounds that he sustains goes to the opponent and vice versa. And then the pillow of shame is just a lot of black spots that start appearing and they start draining about it. And then the third act, which is always my fine, like is I prefer the third act over like the other act. And it's just basically he creates an entire body of water out of nowhere. And it's basically like the um, vast amount of spirit pressure. And he's basically submerging you in spirit until you essentially die but the thing is anybody caught in it goes Nine. under the same effect because it does not describe and that's what makes it like in my eyes like one of the most prettiest bankai like i know we get like the same or whatever because like but this this is taking you through like the drama of it all you know you the wounds we giving you the effects we making you fall in love with it all and the bankai spirit is actually in love with him and like she embraces him you know they go down i'm like i love it like as a dramatic uh, as a dramatic ass bitch like this is my favorite i'll I'll, I'll I'll go get i'll go uh warm the kettle and, and we can start talking about the tea of that um because mm. how how your spirit gonna love you uh, <laughs> i don't know if you're gonna about to get into it but i know you've been saying a lot about the bankais and the captains uh but let me, like, you know, cutting through the chase, let's just hop on into My Hero Academia. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You have Quincy's. You have Hollows. <laughs> did, did we forget about that? I think we did. But they fun. <laughs> but, like, I know they fun, but, like, you can't forget about Quincy's. We only know, like, what, four or five of them throughout the whole entire show. One of them is uh, the Man. weird nerd... The, mm. Hold on. The weird kid with the glasses come to find out, like, spoiler warning, a good portion of the way into the show. I know it's definitely past, like, season three or four. And we find out that Ichigo's mom is a Quincy, and you're like, uh, what? And then that's how he's <laughs> able to, like, regain powers. I'm like, what does this have to do with one another? And then there's also Hollows, which are spirits Basically, that like, haven't passed the into spirit. the Soul Society, mm -hmm. and that's why the Soul Reapers exist. Because the Soul Reapers, like, you know, kind of put these things to rest while Quincy's just, like, you know, mark them on a daily. Yeah. And that's why, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they don't exist no more because they created an imbalance. And, like, they were basically marked till exi uh, extinction except for, like, not even ten people. And I'm like, what? Yeah. Basically, Who? just, like, hollows are the spirits of the dead and evil spirits all throughout that didn't exactly make it into, like, the spirit world which is essentially what Bleach is all about. Bleach is essentially uh, <laughs> Japanese Soul Reapers, I guess. Uh, Japanese Grim Reapers. <laughs> in a way, if you Basically. Way, in a, if you want to put it that way. And, like, it's just like, I never found the Quincy's to be fun. And, like, the another reason is, like, the new arc that we're experiencing or we're going to experience over in uh, October when it finally comes out is the whole Quincy arc. And it's, like, uh is it is it like should i be talking because at the end of the day like you know there's the whole new arc and maybe i don't want to spoil it at the same time but then again bleach ended years ago so it's like eh, it is what it is it, it didn't end on a high note that that's why the the, no, the manga no, brought it no, back no it didn't no it didn't yeah it didn't end necessarily end on a high note but like eh, just <laughs> it's, it's like like, listen, like, I'm trying to find the words for it, but, like, essentially, just the Quincy's have energy, and with this energy, they materialize arrows, which is the most iconic thing that they do. Uh, but they don't have swords. They don't, they don't manifest bankizing anything else, because, essentially, their energy is meant to Bear destroy, derive. destroy yeah. completely uh, a hollow and, an, and so on and so forth. Like, they basically eradicate them them like the cleansing they don't give it like a like a proper death or whatever like the souls reaper do but like the queensies are a little bit more hard on on their set and values and you know they're they're conniving little bitches i don't really like them that much but i guess we also have like the espadas like grimjao kiora and all that other stuff which are uh, hollows in a way <laughs> if you want to put it that way uh you know, everything is fun. Everything is cool. Go watch Bleach, please. <laughs> please. 
actually cooler than I make it sound. No, you're you're good. Uh, so lastly, <laughs> Boku no Hero. Boku no Hero Academia desu ka? Uh, Professor Otra. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so the gist is Japanese X Men. There. <laughs> What? You wrong for that one. <laughs> the just the fucking no hero is Japanese X Men where like the world has superpowers now. Uh but 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 uh, if you don't wanna I'll, I'll one up that. Boku no hero is Japanese sky high. Oh no. Yo, now now you wrong for that one. Oh. The first the first one I was willing to let it pass because the MCU oh, Sky God. High is some Disney bullshit that they pulled out of their behinds. And well so like all right, let, let, let me give let, let me try and salvage this before I collectively lose my shit. Um oh, and they say it a lot oh, and especially especially in uh like the recap episodes. Where um, it all started with one baby, one baby, like, you know, it was just growing, glowing uh, bright, like a, not a diamond, like a star. And, like, you know, around that time, a lot of people were, like, you know, then uh, having powers and whatnot. Now it's dwindled to 20% of the world does not have superpowers mm-hmm. at all. But they don't call it superpowers, they call it quirks, which yeah. it fits well. Um, however, due to copyright law, we do not see the X-Men, Marvel Universe, um, DC Comics Universe, like the, in the manga in Japan, they have like Superman and like all those characters that have actual powers in there, referencing them in the real world, which is actually kind of like cool and crazy. So that's why like Uh when you see some things and you're like, oh, it's kind of weird. That's why. Um, Yeah, yeah. Uh, But also it's like, Hori Koshi has gone on a lot of the time. By the way, Hori Koshi is the one who does my hero. Uh, the the mangaka for my hero. Uh, he's gone on record a lot of times saying like Spider-Man is one of like uh, inspirations in order to do my hero academia. And yeah, essentially the boy. power yeah, essentially uh... I don't I don't remember his name. I don't care for his hero name. I don't care about none of that. It's Tip Boy. Dude has tape coming out of his elbows. Look like a big freaking piece of scotch tape or whatever. The tape Hunter. you go and buy when you go and wrap Christmas presents. His name is Hanta Zero, and you will give him the respect that he deserves, okay? Never. My guy puts in work, though. It might not be like Yo, that. Yo, I got more work. respect for Deku, Bakugo, Icy Hot. Icy Hot, which has a traumatic background, OP as hell. Uraka, um, uh, the earphone jack girl, the girl that creates things. Like the only the only person that literally is below him is the lightning dude, Kirishima. Wow. Great, great, great ball is under him. Wow. And and sugar rush. Everyone else is above him. The disrespect to Hanta Zero Zero Fane. How dare you? Okay, listen here. Listen here, talk- man. Whoa. Are you talking about icy thought? No. What the fuck? Nah. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not bringing in this TikTok head cannon fandom into my podcast. Yo. I refuse. There's a war okay. brewing. We are still okay. among war, man. Let's let's maintain civil civil. Wait, what war? Nah. No, 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 no. Are we not discussing it here? What's what's going on? Because I don't want to talk about about it. We will discuss the details later, but we must take track. Okay, 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 okay. First and foremost, uh, essentially, you're born with a quirk, or you're not, and you develop at an age around age five for many people. However, for example, Koji Koda, which is the one that can speak with animals, like, baby, you were born with a weird-ass body type, body shape, whatever. You was always going to have a superpower, whatever you wanted it or not. So have Fumikage Tokoyami, which is uh, one of the coolest, by the way. Uh, he's the one with Dark Shadow, the quirk. Uh, and, like, baby, you were born with... You were obviously going to have a quirk at one point or another. It's actually the more humanoid ones who end up not having a quirk, and it's like, oh, okay, great. Oh, I go on. Tail, tail boy, tail, tail boy. 
can I no wait no can I spoil or can I not spoil? Uh, this, is, this is this is my hero, so I know that my hero tends to get a lot more sensitive than any other type of uh, manga. So, are you talking about like new stuff post a fight more that's rev- going to go down? More revelations about different characters. More, not today. More, nope. Not today. Not, okay. No, no, never not mind. today. I I don't know what's going on with that, and like I've just been seeing so much different stuff, and I'm like, oh, has this fan theory been right? Uh, and because like okay, I'm so, out of the loop, so we're not gonna I, discuss it that much. But let's just go ahead with what the people can do. Essentially, like for example, you have people such as uh, one of the, the biggest example of power growth. So Tokoyami is actually one of the biggest examples of like power growth, and you see that throughout the manga, uh, where he basically is learning how to use dark shadow in different ways. He can now fly with dark shadow. Dark shadow can extend even further now. He has his Berserk mode, which we've seen, and in terms of the entirety of class, he's the fourth strongest, only because he can get uh, clobbered by Deku, which Homeboy can throw hands. We've known this. We've known this since, like, the beginning of the anime. He's just too sweet to actually throw hands in, like, a more meaningful way. We have Bakugo and Todoroki, which have been explained why he, they can body Tokoyami. And it's because light makes Dark Shadow meek. And so, you know, he gets uh, nerfed. By- but then you essentially also have people such as Kirishima, which is, you know, the... <laughs> oh, my God. The hardening quirk. Essentially, he has learn how to power up beyond that with like the red riot form and everything else and it's amazing to see how far you can push the different quirks in order to go better and like Tenya Ida which is the one with the with the powerful right. leg no 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 his him and his family and that engine quirk is probably one of the weirdest things in that whole show except for Froppy to be being right. honest like Frappy, all right, cool. She's like kind of part frog. This dude has engine blocks in his calves. His brother has uh, like engine stuff like in his uh, elbows or whatever. I'm like, so how how does how does like work? Like, what what if you got like an engine part on your abs? How how that gonna work? How 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 you gonna make love with the engine block on your back and someone trying to? Whoa, whoa, you want no, 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 no. No, mine, no, no, mine, no, mine. No, no. We will, we will not go there. Okay, you want to go there? You want to go there? No, 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 I don't. No, but no, 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 it, it, no, no, no. It, it was funny to start because like this right here, the, the, the shit is good. Um, but, but no, uh, uh, you shut off the corners. Don't make me do it. <laughs> no, I was gonna, I was gonna suggest another person is like my class one B. He's literally the one with the manga head, with like the the word bubble head, like. Homeboy, now come on. <laughs> well, that, that that's the thing too is that like over time, like uh, Bak- uh, Bakugo and Todoroki are one of the best examples of it. Is that um, like as the quirks progress and they continue to grow and like basically mutate mm-hmm. and evolve, mm-hmm. like um, Bakugo's parents, like both of their quirks separately are va- are vastly different and weird, but like they mm-hmm. kind of work. But then they came together, and then there's Bakugo that literally his sweat creates explosions. I was like, oh shit, that's that's cool. Then you have Todoroki, Icy Hot. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. And then, then you have uh, Icy Hot, which is the perfect blend uh, with hot and cold because he has older siblings, but they could not, like, they weren't born with the proper balance. Everyone mm-hmm. else was either, like, you know, uh, too much, uh, like, you know, they had more control over the ice instead of the fire, or more control of the fire than the ice. And, like, that's why Endeavor was really hard on Todoroki. I'm not giving him a pass for this, but I'm just oh, saying, no. like, he wanted his son to be the best version that he could not be because he had limitations. He worked within them, but he had his limitations and he knew that's why he was so hard on his son. And I kind of understand it, but, like, at the end of the day, like, you earned the award for, for Shady Dad of the decade. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Whoa, that's got... Crucible? I, I, I don't care if you're number two. How you chase behind another man your whole entire life and not think, you know what? Maybe I should care about my family. It's literally all I got. Mm. I don't care. I don't care if you're number two hero. To me, that's that's a shitty parent. I'm sorry. Yeah, like, yeah, I, 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 I get it. I get it now. 
right now. So all his kids are either in high school or they've graduated and they have their own jobs and whatnot. And he's just trying to, like, you know, have this family. But they're like, we kind of don't want anything to do with you because you treated us like shit because we weren't up to your standards. And then the one child that was up to your standards, we have little to no interaction with him because you literally just put him in a corner like we do with Shadow and uh, like you trained him his whole entire life. All we <laughs> like saw we him with was Shadow. dinner. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just... it, it hasn't been this bad for a while for, for throwing Shadow <laughs> in, in the corner, but he just like says some stuff. I'm like, I, I need you to like just shh and stay right there for a moment. Oh. And, then he'll, and then he'll just weave in. He's like, oh, do you mean this? I'm like, Go face, face the corner, and then when when you realize what you said, report back. Shadow, be okay. Shadow, Bobby, you okay? Do be continued. I have more to say. Okay, oh. okay. Shadow, Bobby, I love you. Okay, in that corner, you have do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, trust me, I have all the do. Okay, okay, great. See, do, we, do, do you have fruit snacks? <laughs> Don't don't uh, worry. Don't I got, worry. No, I got you. I got no, I got a response. I got a I, I got you, bro. I got you, bro. No, 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 no. My, my me, turn's no. about to come up. I got you. No, I no 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 no. Let me let me let me no no no. I don't I don't need fruit snacks. I got Capri Suns from your mom's fridge. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Moving along. <laughs> not my not like me that I'm getting all juiced up with some video, but go ahead. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that on air? Yes, I mean it, it's not really showing you, and most of our audience is a uh, eighteen plus, which is a plus sign. Um, they, sh- they they should be. <laughs> they should be. Oh, don't but, worry. Uh, <laughs> so uh, another thing about uh, MHA before we uh, give Sage his uh, opportunity is uh, there. How how do I say it? So there's mutation quirks. Uh, 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 as I always said it best, he said that there's three, but I remember two of them. There's mutation quirks, which is um, the the tentacle arm dude. He he's a mutation quirk user. Um, then you have emitter quirks, and then there's a third, but I, I forget what it is. Um, in the quirk. In transformation quirk. Thank you. So like you can either transform into what you're going to do. You can either like you know send that energy out like um, Kirishima does, or um, I, I'm, I'm saying it, and I'm like not paying attention to what I'm saying, so I'm just saying not it. But begging. you, yeah, but you, you guys get what I mean. So yeah. like that, that's why in inside in class one B, you have examples of all three types of uh, quirks. With transformation being Kirishima, you have uh, when you whenever you're gonna be like, what? He don't transform. Yeah, he do. He actually transforms into like he uh, he, he hardens his, his body. Or, yeah, uh, you have emitters. All throughout the, and then a couple examples of mutant type quirks with Tokoyami, Zero, Jiro, uh, Joji, Ojiro, Ida, and even Zuyu actually. Not Mina, surprisingly so, because Mina's quirk is the acid. The purple thing and everything else is just like the sign white. I and still then, feel like he's the biggest perv, and he hasn't earned his. Uh... See at the table for being a perv. Sorry. Who? Mineta. Oh, he's part of the mutable quirk because his quirk comes from his hair. No. Hey. So lastly, I hand the floor to Sage and good luck. Go. You need to come into you with it. Just seen a house. Hey, you son, Mandarin oranges words. Got it. No, that was actual Japanese. But um, we're going to start off with Yu-Gi-Oh, of course. Oh, I mean, right. I my stuff. The heart of the cards. Bring it. Power of friendship. Oh, oh, I said Sondenshin. Okay, I said all three. Get it right. I said Son. Three. You Counting. All right. I'm now not I counting. I'm saying. actually asking if you know how to speak Japanese. Nihongo <laughs> Hanashimasa. Oh, my brother walked in. But um, like I was saying, we're going to start off with the Yu-Gi-Oh, of course, because the power scale is pretty much simple until we start talking about the timeline. Then we have to reevaluate the, the power scale. But for now, we're just going to go with the basic one before the timeline got fucked up, mm. which, 
simply comes down to dualist spirit or the heart of the cards, like you said, and then divine hierarchy. Now, aside from the fact that in the card game, there are spell cards, trap cards, and monster cards with different variations of said each one of those three cards. Long story short, the main thing that you have to worry about is divine hierarchy, which is why I constantly brought up the whole translation, which was a Tim invoking the three Egyptian gods in that one scene during the final Egyptian arc before the final duel between Yugi and a Tim. When a Tim invokes the three Egyptian gods, essentially there's one part within the whole scene where it shows the stone carvings in the Pharaoh's tomb, a Tim's father, that Pharaoh's tomb, which has Slifer or Orceris. You have Ra, which is direct translation, Ra, and Obelisk. Those are the three Egyptian gods, right? Now, we're skipping over the monsters because it's really simple. The divine hierarchy is zero through number three. So you have level zero, level one, level two, and level three. Hold, hold, hold up. Are we going zero at the bottom? Yes, yeah, zero All the way up is to at three. the bottom. Okay. Yes, zero is literally at the bottom. They're, they're good. They can do some work because that's where ev- all the other cards are. The Divine Hierarchy then turns to level one once you start talking about Obelisk and Slifer. That's why I'm skipping level zero. That's like, so level zero is your Dark Magicians, your Blue Eyes White Dragons, your Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragons, your Seas Monsters, your Link Monsters, all that. That's mm. level one. I mean, I mean, not level one, level zero. Level one is Slifer and Obelisk. Those are the two Egyptian gods iconic to both Seto Kaiba and a Tim slash Yugi. These two both are pretty much similar in power, but then different within their own respective terms, as Obelisk is more like a soldier, but then again, because it has godlike powers, it can still obtain the power of infinity through a sacrifice of two. Let it be known, of course, as any gods within any um, mythology or religion of course some do require sacrifices just like in the anime the trading card game picked up okay we need three sacrifices to bring about this one god to be summoned to the game that simple so we did hold, hold up the moment you said that I felt like I was in a cult yeah I was gonna say it was like I'm getting that satanic vibes is hey. there a delicious <laughs> go ahead Babble Black, anyone? So, <laughs> Obelisk and Slifer. Obelisk is, of course, known as the giant soldier. It is all blue. It is within the level one domain, just as if Slifer, which is a sky dragon, which has the power of lightning to shoot out lightning bolts and thunder. Those two are at Divine Hierarchy level one because they are one step below the third Egyptian god, which is technically the strongest which is Ra. Ra is a direct translation from actual, I mean, Egyptian myth and religion back in the old ancient times within the real world. You know, there's Ra, the sun, everything like that. That's essentially where that card came from, right? So with that said, Ra has the power to access different forms, such as spear mode, which can be directly translated from the sun, and the sun being like one of the most powerful things within the universe. You, you can see where I'm going with that, along with a mortal phoenix mode, which is essentially it transforms from its dragon-like form and engulfs itself within flames to be reborn as a phoenix, to burn away what stands in your path. And then, of course, with that being said, if it burns away everything within its path and it's divine, you can tell why it's divine hierarchy level two. So so far, I got you guys. The resurgence. Uh huh. Focus more on typing. Okay. So throughout all three eras, they had the same typing, but people tend to forget about it because of the whole mythology. Okay, different animals, different beasts, things of that nature. So now the power is set on what's your type and what's your skill level. Not like Blade or Spirit skill level, but like how much can you comprehend? Okay, if you have an attack type they, 
you can deal more damage than what you think you can. Or if you have a defense type, you can take more hits than what you think you can. It's like a sword and a shield going in. If you have a shield, you can take it's not more Pokemon hits. reference. Exactly. Sword. And that's where I was going to play into Pokemon. I'm glad you caught on to that. Hey. Hey, I- I'm going to tell you right now. I went and got uh, Shining Diamond or Brilliant Diamond, whatever it is. Uh, I've been hooked and I've played about uh, like eight or nine hours in the past, like 24 hours. So, how many yeah. gym badges you got, cuz? Two. Good. Speaking of Pokemon, we're now about to get into Pokemon because that's where I typed up the most research notes because when I was talking to Sosa, everybody loves Sosa. A page and a half full of research notes when I was trying to make my spark this podcast episode, even though I really didn't need to. I was just bored out of my being honest. Um, So I appreciate your honesty. We're we're gonna go in notes because I actually took time out of here to do this. So, um, Pokemon the, Power Scale. Essentially, the, you have the elements. The revered cockfighting in the in the world. What? What? Pokemon, the most revered cockfighting in the world. Monsters, not animals. But I'll get into that <laughs> later. All right. I'm gonna let it slide because it makes sense. Yes. Now. You have 18 types. Those 18 types are as follow. Normal, fire, water, grass, electric, poison, dragon, fairy, flying, ground, rock, steel, ice, psychic, dark, bug, fighting, and ghost. Mm -hmm. With that knowledge, of course, those types do have their balances, a.k.a. what beats what and what counters what. Keep Mm -hmm. in mind that each Pokemon has at least one typing, but there are some that have dual typing. I don't know what your starter, but if your starter in this case was Chimchar, it probably is in Tomorrow Inferno, and it now has fire and fighting. Hey, mm. hey, hey, hey. What, 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 what kind of trainer do you think I am? Just, just, just a question. If you chose Pip, better type when you evolve into Prim Plus. If you chose Torchwick, you're still a grass type. It's only until the third final evolution. That Tortwig, I mean that uh, and Grotto and Grotto has their dual typing. And cool. This- I'm a fire type, my boy. The only time I choose water is when I find Greninja. The game that has Greninja, I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna play it, and I'm just gonna be an animal with him. That's not what I can why. but I can I can try po- po- Pokemon Unite. I I was doing Cinderay. I like Cinderay because of damage over time, but they actually beefed up Greninja, and then I was playing Greninja more. Greninja became my main. I became a master in Pokemon Unite. Woo! And um, I did it with Greninja for Season 2, because Season um, 1, I used Cinderay more. Man. So yeah, that would you, be X and Y. You, you, you so, can... Uh, 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 main game. Uh, well, I'm not going to get that anytime soon. Yeah, I that, 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 that's on 3DS, though. I was saying that's kind of outdated, bro. But yeah, I can read you a Froakie. They'll, they'll most likely, um, what's it called? If they did it to um, Diamond yeah. and Pearl, they'll probably do it to the other ones then as well. Then you're going to have to wait like 10 more years. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. good. You're yeah. good. Trust me. You're good. You're, you're good, bro. You're With that said, once the Pokemon is captured, sometimes it's through choice where the Pokemon actually runs up to you and gets captured inside Pokeball. And it's like, I want to go with you, and I know you're not going to stay here. It goes once they're captured, the trainer or the further develop a relationship with the Pokemon, a.k.a. just like us human beings, the more that we talk to each other, the more that we hang out, the more a stronger connection and bond that we feel, right? With mm-hmm. that said, it translates into their power. In the video game, you can see that as friendship. In other terms, it could be power? simply, yes, the power of friendship. I mean, oh, some, someone said it before I do. I mean, it's kind of sus. It's like you got monsters like walking up, and it's just like, I want to be in your boat. And it's like, come on, dude. You're not going to sit here and lie. That, that does happen. That does happen, Badoof. Um, which I'm going to continue to talk my shit on Badoof, 
because that goes into my third part, which is the lore. The lore is exactly that these Pokemon get their powers from, how it's created, aka the new upcoming Pokemon game. In this Legends case, of Arceus, yes, Arceus himself. The box art mascot. Now, Arceus... Oh, the, the white horse-looking one? He is not a horse. He is a god. And you will He's a god. L- listen to what I said. The white horse-looking one. I didn't say it is a horse. I said the one that looks like the real world. All right, cool. Let, okay. let me use an am. Uh, yeah. How dare you? He's a llama. Respect. <laughs> you, but you turned me into a llama. <laughs> He's a llama. The- He's supposed to. So, yeah. Arceus in the movies is known as a god just as if in the Pokemon game, but they do not say god because people are very touchy on religion. So in this case, we'll say that he's the alpha Pokemon, which is directly from its Pokedex entry. Mm. Furthermore, in the movie, um, the life, it shows Zui, which was the Sinnoh region before it got its title as Sinnoh. Um, Hizui was under great strife. The land was barren and it was going through hardships. Pretty much, Arceus came through and was like, you know what, God, I need to take responsibility and save my children. So what did he do? He showed up and he tried fighting. Of course, the story got his ass whooped. Furthermore, he had the life plates removed from him forcibly through of the fight with the meteorite. A.K.A. Mm-hmm. furthermore, a person then comes back and it's like, I'm going to save you. This goes back to that trainer bond. In this case, it was more so, I'm not going to catch you. I know I can't catch you, but I still respect you type thing. The friendship was demonstrated. Going into it, the Jewel of Life movie was about essentially Arceus trying to get back his life plates. The Jewel of Life was created from five of those, which was the Draco, the Zap, the Earth, Meadow, and splash plates. Those five plates can be translated into the games as electric, grass, ground, steel, rock, and water. Dragon. Oh uh, wait. Yeah, and dragon. Which one? Which one were the ones you said again? Was Zap, Earth, Meadow, Okay, Draco, and that Splash. That is. That is uh, electric, dragon, ground, grass, and water. Yes. So with that said, those five plates were essentially the powers that Arceus lost because Arceus is known as the alpha Pokemon. So it has literally all the typings, but it also does not have all the typings at the same time. If he really wanted to, he could, but he doesn't. Right. He can switch types on will. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what, I, that, that's what I'm implying with if he really wanted to, he could. When when I say Arceus is literally the alpha, like we can say Arceus is that nigga. He murked Garatina on site. He murked Dialga on site. He murked Tokyo on site. The whole creation trio that you about to go experience for yourself. Yeah, he, he murked all three of them at the same time running the fade. It was a three V one and they still got their ass whooped. Was like you really mm. tried this shit. The whole concept of the movie is that Dialga had pushed to the past to like Get stuff together because they couldn't beat them in the foot. Fo- the- hey, the hey, hey, we we're not gonna talk about all them Pokemon movies because I have a feeling one of them's not canon. But I, I don't want to get into that. I don't know which one, the but I, movie. But I know that that very first one, that one like messed with my emotions. Oh, you see, I purposefully left out Mew in this case because that would be a different argument in itself. But that's more so DNA strands science. For now, we're talking about the powers. So going into that, once we get over the whole Pokedex and the Jewel of Life arc, which we did, that's how we can prove that Arceus is indeed the strongest. Therefore, with that said, Arceus creating everything within the world of Pokemon, that's how they got their powers. That's pretty much another part to their power set. He pretty much runs the game. All right. The next and final part to this is the actual stats within the video game, which we can go back to where me and Juju were talking about competitive play, but even Mm -hmm. out of competitive play, casual play, and throughout the story in the game, you can see that every time that your Pokemon levels up, 
they show a quick chart of numbers, which is divided Facts. by hit points, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. Those six stats determines how good a Pokemon is. Now, whether mm-hmm. that be through breeding, which is IVs and EVs, which is a whole mm-hmm. competitive play scene. It's so hard, itself. though. It, it's a struggle. Weren't, weren't you hunting for a ditto the other day? Still hunting for a ditto, but I got that Gengar. That's all that matters, because when I go and fight this streamer called Cinnabon XO, she gonna get this Gengar work disrespectfully, and I'm gonna get my date. That's how that oh, shit it works. Is this the girl you, you've been talking to for a minute? Yes, now you see why I've been hunting for that Gengar. It, it, it was to make sure the message was clear. I was like, if I win, which I will, because you're not going to say, oh, my cheeps are getting clapped. No, I'm going to win this. N- don't don't yes. don't worry about the details. What? Don't worry about the details. What? Just, just keep it going. Keep it All right, let, let, keep, keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. Let's... Exactly. Exactly. Listen, now, listen, Pokemon bringing true love together. All right, the, that that it is what it is. It is. Now, like I said, those six stat points are very important. That determines what makes a Pokemon good. Other than, like I said, EVs, which stands for effort values, and IVs, which stand for individual values. Both of those translate directly into the stats itself that I listed: hit points, attack, special defense. Special attack. Um, you, you get what I'm saying. Pretty yep. much those six stats is the baseline of your Pokemon. That's how much it can do. If it can only run for two hours, it's only running for two hours. If it can run for four hours, it can run for four hours and then that's it. The hit point mm-hmm. box is very important as known as within any game because that's your health buff. If you don't have any health, you're pretty much sitting there like a dead body. In this case, fainted. Pokemon can die, but those are rare instances only shown throughout the anime and different movies. With yep. that said, a quick overview of each power skill in short, pretty much Beyblade is Blader Spirit, Understanding Typing, and different mythologies. We go into Yu-Gi-Oh! Divine Hierarchy, and where it sits on the pyramid, ranging from the bottom at level 0, then you go all the way to the top, which is level three, which is between Exodia, in this case, since we're going to bring him in, to the third and powerful spot, level three, and along with um, the creator of light at level three. Everything else, the three, again, that short. With then Pokemon, it's all about the stats, the different element typing that it has, and the friendship level if it is. If not captured, it's all based upon the habitat and its understanding of. I'm, I'm, I'm. I kind of want to let Shadow talk more, but I kind of don't. Let him breathe. Let no, let no, him no, 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 no. I can't. He can breathe and just. No, no. Benito, I'm saying let, let him let breathe. Him say no. why? Because we technically entered the Shadow Realm when I started talking about Yu-Gi-Oh. So I've been kind of wondering, like, okay, so when? Ah, uh, yeah. Listen, listen, let, let Shadow talk. Let Shadow talk. Tyler, Papi, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Awesome, man. I mean, can y'all still hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we can hear you. I've been waiting for you to interject. I was like, oh. I did try to interject like twice, and then I was just like, shut out. I'm like, fine. Aw, bendito. We got no, you back around. <laughs> No, it's fine. I mean, I actually had legitimate non-sus questions, but whatever. No, non-sus questions. questions. No, it's like Arceus gave the Pokemon their power, and I'm like, well, what's the deal with that Oho bird? The one that was in like the, the first episode. Oh, the, 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 the what? The ho the ho-ho bird. Yes. The ho ho bird. No. No. Ho o. No, it's ho o. Even worse, the the ho got a o. Yes. Oh my god! All right, you can't live in the state that I live in and not like have some like weird things like ho 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 like oh damn like there there there's a a, a, a uh, how am I gonna say this a place for adult men to be entertained there's, and there are oh well, we call that a red light district yeah yeah and yes Pokemon does have a uh, 
a hoe bird. So about the hoe bird, isn't he the one that I guess it's more like a conspiracy theory, but made Ash stay ten years old? Yes, because of the rainbow wing, and Ash had dream of from master, and he will no longer be able to age properly until he becomes a set Pokemon. Why I wanted him to win all the league. He lost the Kanto League. He lost the Johto League. He lost the fucking Hoenn League. Then he lost Seno. And we were all rooting for him too, but then he mm. Dark Rice showed up. So that was mm. understandable. Unova League, we thought he would have learned his lesson. Carlos League, we really was in for it. We was like Listen, listen, here. I will never forgive I will never forgive the Carlos League, okay? Because like, I will never forgive He he had the type of vantage. He could have won. He got hold. He got hold by the story writers in the discussion. How the fuck does a blast burn do more damage than a fucking water shuriken that has typing advantage for one and, and boosted by the as Greninja, so he had four armor on and still lost the championship. I'm sorry. After that, I knew he got hold by the writers. All the I became a leader. I was like, no, the writers are just making it fair and they're trying to base it off the game. No, he got hold by the writers. He grew so much. And then the listen, Alola League, listen, he revived I don't care himself. much about Greninja. I don't care much about Greninja, like because of the anime. It, it uh, basically yeah. messed it up for me because it's like, oh my god, can they? pandering to the freaking frog but at the same time it's like i was genuinely rooting for it in that in that league and i was like you know what he can do this he can do that and and get this ash greninja's base stats are pseudo legendary base stats actually they're stronger than a pseudo legendary they're 640 pseudo legendaries go up to 600 so the fact that he lost pissed me off but then we ran it back in the lola league now that shit was fire i will never forget it Mm. Mm. Like sure, he won that one, but even in the new anime, he's like, "All oh, right, I forgot I won." It's like, mm, okay. I mean, because they, because everybody hates on Sun and Moon for the simple fact that there wasn't any gym leaders. But Sun again, and Moon was fun, but the anime and, and all this sense, it was like this very is about weird to turn into a two part. Co- I mean, podcast. We we gotta stop. Yeah, we gotta stop. <laughs> okay, okay, we, we gotta stop. We gotta stop. We gotta stop. Yes. My phone's about to die. All right, so seeing how we're all set and we're all done, we're done with um. Uh, how do I say it? Our pandering to our inner weebs, our inner otakus. And Y'all have a great rest of your night. Stay you safe too. till next time. Yeah. Yep. All right, see you guys. Again, thank you guys so much for tuning into another episode of Otaku Outsiders. Don't forget to hit that follow button. Don't forget to hit that like. Don't forget to share this to someone that might be into anime just like you are. Letting y'all know, we do have a Discord out that is meant to help interact with you guys so that we know what you guys want. We also have an Instagram and a TikTok, all which are linked through my link tree. If you want to join Sage's Discord, go ahead, you're more than welcome to. If you want to check out Shadow and or Juju's TikToks, you are also more than welcome to. Everything is in the description of the podcast. Till next time, stay safe. See you then.